Hey, 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 DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound. Check, check, check. Hey, 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 DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound. And we're doing it from scratch today. Actually, we're going to do a, a quick tutorial on uh, my new software, um, Show Express from Chevet. It's a DMX PC based controller. And uh, we're going to open it up and create a scene. So you open up the basic window here. After you set all your buttons, well, let's go through that. The fixture area is where you load the lights that you have in your program or for your show by clicking a fixture hitting the drop down arrows will load them into the personal fixture area which is your fixtures and then when you go from the personal area you select the light hit the drop down arrows and it'll put it in the DMX addressing area now if you're in the personal fixtures area for example Starball I use a picture of a color sphere but you can change it to just about anything you want Okay, and this will give you how many channels it has. The Starball has two channels. The if you click on one channel, it'll give you in the second levels area. It has six different uh, DMX levels in this first channel. And if you click on the second channel, you'll see it has from zero to nine. It has no rotation from. 10 to 120 has right rotation and this gives you quick options to select when you're in the program mode so you can address as you see the LED reins have seven channels and for example the dimmer channel is only one channel from 0 to 255 okay red is same green blue and here's the macros you can add as many macros as you want and you'll be good to go Okay, so we're going to X out of the uh, fixture area and we're going to go to the builder. I already have my fixtures loaded in the builder and now from the builder page we click on 3D button. The 3D button launches the visualizer and I've already set up the stage the way I have it. I have all my lights. I have some speakers set up here just to kind of give me an idea what the room might look like. In the back I have some PARs or some LED park ends along the back. I put three Revo 3's on the top of the truss, ladder truss, two moving heads and two star balls. Oh, I also have a four uh, or five um, color strips. So we'll take a look at this and see how it looks. Okay, We're just going to program a simple program right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my moving heads with a shortcut if you see right here with a small M. If I hit M on my keyboard because I made that a hotkey it highlights the two moving heads so I can actually get to them quickly so I right click on the um, the lamp on area I'm going to turn the lamp on I right click on the dimmer and I'm going to turn the dimmer all the way up and I turn on open for the shutter and now you see my lights have turned on if I go over to the movement arrows if I go move the slider it'll go all the way around and back and this will be up and down up and down okay so in the new area right here we'll type in a new show we'll call it MH for moving head 1 and this is the stepper oh it was hit save okay MH1 so step 1 we're going to have it white just like it is right now. We're going to hit these small little add step arrows and that's what the first step is going to be. 
Second step is going to be we're going to change them both purple and we're going to add a step. So now from one to two it goes from white to purple. And to the next movement, well let's see move the lights a little bit, we'll move them down and we'll change the color of both of them to yellow. Adding a step. Now I want to take, see how they're highlighted. All I have to do is hit my hot key again and they will unhighlight so I can move each individual fixture by itself. So I'm going to move one fixture over. Let's go over here and the other fixture to the other side over here. Now I'm going to add a step. Well, let's change the color to one of them. Let's change it to red. Okay. Add a step. Now we have a five step sequence. Let's hit save and hit the small button to play the scene. And you see how they snap, the lights snap quickly. So let's hit stop. We'll go back to the beginning we're back to step one and you notice these icons on the bottom how they are zigzag that's a quick snap uh, transition so we're gonna make it smooth uh, fade on the movements so all we have to do is click that button to a Okay, and I believe the reason why this one did not change is, I have no idea, probably because it's not, there's no movement there. Okay, so we're going to go to the next step and do the same thing. And the next step. Now if you would have done this before you started your, it would have uh, been smoother. And to the next step. Now I really only had to do the, the movement the X and Y to make it move smoothly, but out of habit I just do them all. Uh, that'll also make the colors transition smoothly and if I wanted to do the shutter it would do that. So let's hit save and hit play and now you'll see that they'll transition smoothly to the next area instead of snapping. And that's how you create a scene with Show Express. Okay, so we'll hit stop. It's recall a scene. You hit the little drop down arrow Notice I have a lot of scenes built here. So if I wanted to open up my PAR cans and I have these spinning blue, you hit the PAR can blue, hit load scene, and then hit play. And you notice in my visualizer the PAR cans are now chasing. All right, this is just a quick scene uh, build with Show Express from Chevet. This is DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound, and you guys have a great night.